We got a first here on Chain Reaction. This is the first episode of this show where we're eating at a place where I've never been in my entire life. And let me tell you something. I feel like a kid on the first day at a new school. What am I gonna get? Are they gonna like me? Where's my locker? Luckily for me, the only homework assignment I have is to stuff my stupid face with chicken wings. We're here at Wingstop in Burbank, California, and I'm super hungry. My name is Wax, I eat at regular places, and this is Chain Reaction. The music is way too loud in here to shoot, so I got the wings to go. I feel like the Beatles when they did the Abbey Road cover. Except instead of Abbey Road, I got all these wings. So at the end of the day, it's gonna be more like Flabby Road. Hopefully we can eat them somewhere freely. Not have people from other establishments come out and yell at us. Hey, if you're gonna eat by Zanku Chicken, you're gonna eat Zanku Chicken, okay? You know, back in the day before cars, man had to travel very, very far for, to get from the East Coast to the West Coast on the Oregon Trail. His oxen would die. People would get dysentery. That's what I feel like right now as I walk to the depths, the deepest depths of earth to eat this goddamn wing stop. We're sitting here in front of a grocery store. This is a real test for me. Every two seconds somebody walks by and stares at me like this. You know what, I don't care when people are looking at me. In fact, it fuels me. Your hatred, your suspicion, your judgment, it fuels my creative drive. And you know what, I'm gonna talk about soda based on that. These newfangled soda machines kind of have a goodness and a badness to them. Like, first of all, there's only one spout. I put my cherry coke, it had to run through a spout. It was tarnished by 7-Up. I can taste it in here. That's how accurate my taste buds are. Good thing about enormous paper bags is they also double as tablecloths. I got the perfect amount of paper towels to eat wings with because it's actually the exact same length as my wingspan. This is a formal meal. Tie required. We got the french fries, chicken tenders, we got the classic hot wings, Cajun wings, spicy Korean wings, mango habanero wings, Hawaiian boneless wings, barbecue boneless wings. And to finish it all off, we got the triple chocolate chunk brownie. That is fun to say. There's so many people staring at me here that I feel a little bit in my head but I took one bite of these fries and it was like stepping into a meditation room. A meditation room where nothing, nothing in the surrounding world even affects you. I feel like a Buddhist monk. These shouldn't be called French fries, they should be called Zenj fries. Get it, like Zen Buddhism? Yeah. I'm not usually a dip French fries and ranch type of guy, but I don't have any ketchup and sometimes you gotta use what you got. You gotta like MacGyver this shit. They call me McFriver. I didn't expect these french fries to be so good, so the rating I'm gonna give them, what's something like a movie or like a album you didn't expect to be good, but it was good? Uh, double team with Jean-Claude Van Damme and Dennis Rodman. These french fries get the rating of whatever you have just said. The chicken tender is the go-to food for people that don't like to try new things. Chicken tenders are like the missionary style sex of food. I'll tell you what, so far I'm in love with Wingstop. And Wingstop is making me think about a lot of love songs. Love me tender. Wingstop in the name of love. Since I'm in love with these chicken tenders, and chicken tenders are often called chicken fingers, I want to put a wedding ring right on this chicken finger. And my rating to it is, will you marry me? A lot of people don't know this, Yev, but uh, ranch dressing was invented right here in California. Did you know that? No. Ranch was invented in the 1950s in Santa Barbara, California by Hidden Valley Ranch. And you know what? Back then it was just called Valley Ranch, but it was so fucking good, they had to hide it because everybody was starting to knock on their door like it was Beatlemania. Like, yeah, give me the ranch. If your ranch was the ranch that invented ranch, the ranch ranch, it'd be quite a ranch. I want to visit that ranch. How many times in that sentence did I say the word ranch? Let's try some boneless wings, shall we? What we call a boneless wing is not a boneless wing. This is a nugget of chicken breast meat. This has nothing to do with wings. I don't know if this is true, I'm kind of talking out my ass, but I bet you we had the technology to make genetically mutated, actually boneless chicken wings. Actual boneless wings would be like these sad, floppy, dangly things on the sides of these already sad chickens. They'd be walking around like an armless dude wearing a long sleeve sweater, just flapping. You know what I mean? This is not a boneless. Win. These ratings today might be a little tainted because I really am just super, super hungry. I haven't eaten all day. Mm. I mean, you could pretty much put anything on this plate and I would say it was the best thing I've ever had, but these are really good. I think we have a hat trick of firsts here on Chain Reaction. One goal, I've never been this hungry on Chain Reaction. Second goal, place I've never been to on Chain Reaction, 
Third, this is the first time that we're gonna have to change locations in the middle of the shoot because there's this enormous truck right here. It's really loud. I feel like an endangered species of animal right now. I feel like a giant panda or California condor. Everywhere I go, I get kicked out. I gotta find a new place to go, a new refuge, a new wildlife reserve. But that's the way life is, Yev. Sometimes you get kicked around. But you know what you don't do? You don't give up, okay? Hey, oh, do you feel it? Do you feel the feel of rush? Put your hands up if you feel it good enough. This is taking me back to when I was a little kid and I used to go to all the local shopping centers and ride my skateboard and get kicked out everywhere. I feel like I'm playing wing around the rosy. By the time I get around to eating the rest of these wings, I'll have had a change of heart and be a vegan. This is the not so excited beetle shot. <laughs> Fancy, yeah. Just like a high school couple looking for a place to make out, sometimes you just gotta do it in the parking lot. This is the Hawaiian style boneless wing. Mm. The Hawaiian style sauce at Wingstop tastes exactly like the sweet and sour sauce at McDonald's. The guy who runs Wingstop probably hired the Hamburglar to go into his own organization, McDonald's, change it from sweet and sour to Hawaiian, which adds cultural appropriation to his list of crimes as well. And uh, now we have these things. Since Wingstop stole sweet and sour sauce from McDonald's and tried to pass it off as their own, I rate these Hawaiian nuggets two Mick handcuffs right on your wrist. Get at it. I said get at it because that's what the cup said. You're gonna see like a corporate boardroom, like what should our new slogan be for the kids? And like somebody that just happened to be young was in there and they're like, what do you think, Bill? You're in touch with social media and the younger generation. He was like, uh, get at it. And they're like, yeah. In his mind, he's like, I don't know. I'm a little hungover. I just kind of made that up through all the days and filth that's in my head. I don't know. Never heard anybody say get at it in my life, but okay. This is the mango habanero wing. Mango habanero is like that underground sounding artist that like hit the mainstream, you know? It's like fucking Wu-Tang, dude. Mango habanero is like Wu-Tang. Like on paper, it seems kind of like an underground eclectic kind of thing, but you put it out there to the public and everybody just fucking loves it, you know? Just like Wu-Tang, things need a team. Like there's mango and there's habanero, you know? And by themselves, they're not great. It's like that 16 seed at the NCAA tournament who's like, as individual players, they're not that great, but they play really, really good team ball. It's just enough to beat the number one seed and make it really far in the tournament. I'm gonna be Mango. Okay. <clears throat> You're gonna be Habanero. This is gonna be like a dramatic play. I'm Mango. Alone, I am too sweet. I'm Habanero. Alone, I'm too spicy. But, but together, together, we, we are, are unstoppable. unstoppable. <laughs> <laughs> this is the spicy Korean barbecue wing from Wingstop. Much like the Korean Peninsula, it tastes like it's divided in half between two things. The red North Korea, represented by sriracha, and the freedom of South Korea, represented by maple syrup. What do we think of when we think of maple syrup? We think of Canada and freedom, and man, do whatever you want, it's Canada, what, what do we care? It's a divided yet beautiful place. Although I think people that live in North Korea might disagree with what I just said. I'm gonna give these Korean wings However many members there are of BTS, all of them with their thumbs up. This is the hot wing. This tastes like fish. It doesn't taste bad though. In this case, it's more like the band fish with a PH. This tastes like a good fish. The last chicken product we're gonna try today is the Cajun wing. This might be a Cajun wing, but let me tell you something. There's one thing you can't cage in. You can't cage in my soul, my spirit, my heart. It's free. My heart is free, my soul is free as a bird. Not this bird though. This bird was never free. The Cajun one's good. When I ate that Cajun chicken and shut my eyes for a while, I felt like I was no longer in Burbank. I felt like I was on Bourbon Street, walking down Mardi Gras. Beads, beads flying everywhere. It lands on a chicken, shows the tits, cut off the tits, put it in a boneless wing. Jazz. This Cajun wing makes me think of Dixieland music. So I'm gonna rate it five clarinets up. Hey, yeah, have you ever heard of the movie When Harry Met Sally? Yeah. What about when cake met cookie? No. Spoiler alert, they fucked and out came brownie. This brownie, when it's in your mouth swirling around and you close your eyes, you're in just a bubble. If the bubble was a color, it would be orange, yellow, and red because it'd be warm and full of joy and completely lacking hatred, fear, anxiety, worry, stress. See that lady over there? I rate this brownie that lady in front of Kmart because she's just enjoying life, man. She's not worried about you. She's not even worried about Kmart. She's like, yeah, I, just, I didn't have anything to do today. I went to Kmart to see if they have any stuff I want. Can you eat that while holding that camera? Now close your eyes. It all went away, didn't it? 
all your stress, all your worries. But now you're just filled with chocolate, yeah. Just close your eyes, keep them closed. Say, I'm a chocolate boy. I'm a chocolate Say, boy. Say, I'm the chocolate bunny that people buy at Easter. I'm a chocolate Say, bunny. Say, I'm that... made of nothing but sugar and deliciousness. I'm made of nothing but sugar and deliciousness. You feel great now, don't you? Mm -hmm. What a journey this episode has been. And I'm not talking about that old van journey. I'm talking about we had to walk around a lot to eat the food. That said, it was really delicious and I give this place an 8.5 out of 10. All right, Wingstop, time for me to Wingo.